What's up world, Julian here, uh, AKA Told by Thomas on Instagram and YouTube and welcome to my Brooklyn bachelor set. All right, so this is my one bedroom loft style apartment in the Bushwick neighborhood of Brooklyn. I pay about $2,100 in rent, which I'm not too mad at at all. I actually do think it's below market and I'm pretty sure that's because I live right next to the train, like literally right next to it. It definitely keeps me up at night sometimes, but I've also been living in this neighborhood for about 14 years now. So I'm really used to it. When I moved into this particular apartment four years ago, it was a blank canvas. All the walls were white. Um, some of the doors were removed and I literally had the opportunity to turn this apartment into my home. When you step in, it's like you're stepping into my brain. My favorite DIY project has to be this gallery wall. Um, it's made its way around on Instagram and TikTok, which is really, really cool. It's gotten a lot of eyeballs on it. It kind of looks like a hodgepodge of everything, just like random stuff just thrown on there. Uh, but this actually did take me quite some time and the process was really strategic. So my favorite piece on the wall has to be this dance floor picture. Um, so funny story behind that. I actually saw this from, I don't know, some internet like framing company and they wanted $150 for that print. And I was like, no, 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 we're not gonna do that. I can paint that, I can make that. And so I just went to a art store right down the street and got the supplies and boom, took me $30. It's kind of cheeky because my bedroom was up there. So it was like the dance floor is up there, you know? So this is my bedroom. And as you can see, the gallery wall continues up the stairs up to here. And when I did this gallery wall, I started off by having two, what I call anchor pieces, like center pieces to kind of like design around. Um, so at the bottom of the stairs, there was a picture ledge. And up here, it is my mirror and my dresser. And I just like, you know, uh, placed prints and frames like around this. And I think it works really well. Uh, as you can see, there is no built-in closets in this apartment. Uh, so I had to get a little creative and I just got some racks from Ikea. But to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing when you know someone is downstairs looking up, I did add a partition wall just using some planks from my local hardware store. This entire DIY project, it took a weekend and I'd say about, honestly, like $300 in wood, which I don't think is bad. And uh, it works, it kind of like dampens the light from below and it just makes everything seem a little bit more homey, especially because, you know, this is the loft and there, obviously there isn't four walls. So this is kind of like a makeshift wall. So another DIY project, uh, one thing you'll learn is that I have a thing for walls. I don't know, I don't really get it, but so with this one, um, shiplap is obviously like kind of big and like, I guess the interior design community, I don't know. And I wanted something similar. Uh, so I got some cedar planks from my local hardware store. And these planks are usually meant for like closets. And I was like, hey, that can be like cheap shiplap. And I just painted them matte black and I think it gets the job done. Um, it makes the bedroom look a little bit more, I don't know, interesting and a little bit more like manly, I say, I don't know. A lot of the furniture that you see here is secondhand. I either got it from like, Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And again, like sometimes I mask it like, oh yeah, I'm just like an eco warrior, you know, I wanna be sustainable. But like I said, the truth of the matter is I'm just cheap. And even right here, like a little seating area, I DIY this. This is like some planks from Home Depot and some cushions again from uh, Facebook Marketplace and some hairpin legs. Boom, yeah, you got a chair. Sometimes I can just like sit out here, especially when I'm taking too long to get dressed to actually like get to work. Okay, now I'm gonna take you guys downstairs to like my living creative office space. So let's go. So really quick, before I show you my little office space, I wanna talk about my dining area right here, if you will. Um, as mentioned, I like to DIY. I mean, my whole apartment is pretty much one giant DIY project. And besides my gallery wall and my partition wall, another favorite DIY project of mine is this accent wall. Again, with the walls, right? There's a, there's a common thread here. Um, but one thing that was really cool about this wall is that this actually used to be my bedroom. 
and I didn't want to have a door right here because having a swinging door just took up way too much space. So I had my landlord remove the door and I just uh, bought a, a sliding barn door to just like maximize space and it was actually quite affordable. Um, but to make everything kind of like stand out a bit, I just uh, hand painted a little like not a mural, but like an accent wall. Uh, I'm really bad with like wallpaper um, right here with like my little juice bar um, with the fruit. I mean, I don't know, everything kind of just like sticks out. It definitely has some flavor to it and it's my flavor. Um, yeah, I don't know, like it's like when you step into my apartment, you're stepping into my brain. And as you can see, orange is my favorite color, so. So this is my creative space and um, as you might be able to hear, the sound is a little bit more dampened in here only because with everything being so out in the open, especially with the train and lack of walls as you can see, my voice travels outside of this room but here is where I work, this is where I get on calls. Um, I do a lot of video content for all of my social channels um, so this is where I like record and create so it has to be a little bit quiet in here um, and I think I did a good job with sound dampening as you can see there's a lot of rug or there's you know two really big rugs also I have like a little um, sound wall right here to help dampen the sound. One thing that's really cool about that I like firstly um, uh, about this room is my TV stand. Um, it's, it looks like a little art easel, so I don't know, it, like, it kind of elevates the space a little bit rather than just like slapping a TV on the wall or on a console, put on like, a little easel. And one thing that's cool too is like because this is like my creative space and yes, it's also like my living room, when I film content here, I can have this act like a teleprompter. So, this is my kitchen and I will say it's like a pretty typical bachelor pad kitchen. You'll notice that I have a very uh, empty fridge like a typical bachelor. Do not show my mom that. Because I don't really cook that often, I don't really spend too much time in the kitchen. If anything, this is more of my workspace for all of my DIY projects. Um, this is where I will paint and like cut wood or stain something. So this is my very retro, very pink bathroom. Um, when I moved into this apartment, this was in very bad shape. I mean, it's not much better now, but like I did have to add a little zhuzh to it just to make it acceptable. I'm telling you when I moved in, it was bad. I even painted the floor, that's how bad it was. Um, but as you can still see, it is still pink. And some of this stuff I've never done before. So I got to like, I'm kind of like learning on the job in a way. And it makes for a really good before and after. I moved to Bushwick in 2008, 2009, and this was like the cusp of when it started to change, dare I say, which is kind of a controversial term. Uh, but the rent was cheap. You know, I knew the, the neighborhood was a little rough, but the rent was cheap, and that is honestly the main reason. But this has become my home. I, I can walk down the street and I'll see friends every time I leave my apartment. and. Again, the neighborhood, it, it has changed over the years. A lot of new faces are moving in, but it's still home to me and I love it. All right, you guys, so this is Brooklyn Whiskers, my favorite place in Bushwick to grab a coffee and a vegan pastry, even though I'm not vegan. Uh, I wanna say thank you again so much for coming by my Brooklyn Bachelor Pad. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and YouTube, at Told by Thomas. I'm also on TikTok, at Martha Stewart. That's Martha, but with an F. All right, you guys, I'll catch you later.